<laughs> Thank you. Ah, you're welcome. You're welcome. I see going everywhere. Okay. Today we're going to begin. We're going to start and let's take a look. Yesterday we learned the vocabulary to describe the rooms, right? Remember, we learned the vocabulary for the furniture, okay? So today, let's listen and remember. Let's listen and remember the vocabulary. For furniture and other household items. Let's get started by listening and repeating the vocabulary. Armchairs. Stove. Curtains. Cur pictures. Clock. Bed. Table. Coffee table, microwave oven, refrigerator, lamps, sofa, desk, bookcase, dresser, chairs, mirror, rug, television. Okay. It's okay, the pronunciation? Or would you like me to repeat? Repeat. Okay. Cortina. 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 Ah, Cortina. Okay. Curtains. Cortina. Curtains. Curtains. Correct. Curtains. Thank you. You're welcome. ¿Alguna otra que gustaría que repitiera? Any other words? Okay, good. Okay, so today we're going to practice using the vocabulary to describe our house. How are we going to do this? We are going to do this with using the words there is, okay, using the word, the expression there are, and then we're going to use some, no, and any. Some, no, and any. For this, we're going to watch a small video, okay? Either one is, is, and there are. Also, how to use some, no, and any when referring to different objects. Let's get started by listening to a conversation title. Okay. Para los que les parece pequeño, también esto está en el grupo de WhatsApp. Esta conversación ya lo mandé al grupo de WhatsApp. There aren't any chairs. This conversation illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. Let's listen and practice the conversation. This apartment is great. Thanks. I love it, but I really need some furniture. What do you need? Oh, I need lots of things. There are some chairs in the kitchen, but there isn't a table. And there's no sofa here in the living room. And there aren't any chairs. There's only this lamp. So let's go shopping next weekend. Now, let's learn how to use there is and there are. Okay. First, let's look at the conversation. Are there any words you don't know? Oh, everything is clear. Okay. okay. Remember, the idea is there are for plural. There are for plural. There is or there isn't for singular, okay? There is or there isn't for singular. There are or there aren't for plural. There are some chairs in the kitchen, but there isn't a table. And there's no sofa here in the living room. And there aren't any chairs. There's only this lamp. So let's go shopping next weekend. Now, let's learn how to use there is and there are. Okay, here you can see the example. There is singular, okay, a bed. Or if the answer is no, there's no singular, sofa. Also, we can use the contraction. The contraction, there isn't singular, a table. There isn't a sofa singular. There isn't a bed, okay? 
always for there is or there isn't for singular. There are or there aren't for plural, okay? There are, and then we use some. Some significa algunos. That's why we use some. There are some plural chairs. Or the answer, no, there aren't, there are, sorry, there are no chairs. There are no chairs. So this one, yes, chairs. This one, no chairs. And here also is another form. There aren't any chairs. This is zero chairs. So how do we form them? Okay. We use the expressions, there is, okay, or there isn't. And then we use the word a uh, or no in the complement. If it's plural, okay, like this, there is, there isn't. So for example, there is a table, there isn't a chair, or there is no table. These are the correct ways. Let's see. You see here, we have these examples. Finally, we have the complement. The <laughs> sofa in the bedroom. The last example, there isn't a table in the kitchen. At the beginning of our sentence, we use there. The verb to be is isn't because we're expressing something negative. Then we use the article A because we're talking about a singular object. Finally, we have the complement, table in the kitchen. Okay. Pueden ver cómo se hace. There is, siempre vamos a ir there is, or there, ¿verdad? No importa si es singular o plural. ¿Qué significa there en español? ¿Para qué nos decimos there? Allí está. Más o menos. Solo que en vez de lugar, porque en vez de ahí, ahí. aquí, sí, ahí. Ahí, ahí. hay, exacto, Ay. hay, porque no nos ubica el lugar, uh -huh. solo nos ubica la cantidad. Hay una cama, hay una tele, pero no nos dice dónde. En cambio, por eso tenemos que tener cuidado que no usamos ahí, ¿ok? Es hay. So there, there is a bed, o in este caso, there isn't a table. No hay una mesa. Solo que en español va antes el negativo, en inglés va después. Okay. Y lo mismo, the same for the, for the other examples. Para cuando usamos there for are, la misma idea. Okay. After that, the verb to be are. Next, we're going to use no. Notice that we will use this expression whenever we're expressing something negative. And you can also say, aren't any as well. Either one is correct. Uh, finally, we have the complement, chairs in the living room. For our uh, last example, there aren't any chairs in the living room. We start our sentence with there. Next, the verb to be aren't. After that, we're going to use any. It's important to remind you that we will use any whenever we are making negative statements. We can't say some, for example. Finally, we have the complement, chairs in the living room. Now, okay. Como pueden ver, cuando usamos there are, there are, tenemos que usar, okay, la palabra some or no. Any, solo la podemos usar cuando tenemos un negativo. Por ejemplo, there aren't any. Y usamos any cuando es plural. Usamos a cuando es singular. Por eso es que no es correcto. There isn't any table. There isn't a table porque es singular, a. Pero como aquí hay chairs, es plural, vamos a usar there aren't any chairs. No sé si eso tiene sentido. Ok. 
todos calladitos o, o todos perdidos y nadie quiere decir o todos súper claros como que sea agua cristal de, la, de los Alpes. Excelente. Ok, agua cristal de los Alpes. All right. So <laughs> we are going to practice. Ok, we're going to practice. There is and there are. Ok, ¿cómo lo vamos a practicar? Ok, primero vamos a hacer parte una. Parte una es la conversación. La conversación, como les mencioné, está en el grupo de WhatsApp. Ok, o allí mismo pueden ver. Ok, en 2.8. Ok, so 2.8 or WhatsApp, whatever is easier for you. Ok, now is your turn to practice. Need some furniture. So with a partner, we practice. Once is Chris, once is Linda. One Chris, one Linda. And then we change Linda and Chris. Okay. It's okay. Okay, perfect. Okay. Um, let's see, just one moment. Okay. Eh, para que sepan, el grupo que tenga Sochi, Sochi este día no va a poder eh, hablar o participar. Ella solo va a escuchar. Anda mal de la garganta y así no, así no enferma a nadie. Entonces, para estar seguro. <risa> ok. Pero todo lo demás, todos participen. Solo Sochi este día que anda un poco mal de la garganta. René, ¿no pudiste unirte? ¿Tienes algún problema?
Okay, any questions? No, no questions? What do you? No. No? All right. Yes, yes. yo tengo una, este, eh, perdón, eh, donde dice Linda, la primera, donde dice Fortuny, no, no sé cómo es que dice. Ok, Linda, la primera. De, Ajá, dice. Aquí está. Fortuny, algo así. Sí, Fern... ok, ok. Ok, ¿Y qué, sí. ¿y qué significa furniture? Yo pienso que fortuna. No, no, no. Son muebles. 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 Uh -huh. Furniture. Sí, muebles. Uh -huh. Ok. Good. And any other questions? La pronunciación me la puede repetir, por favor. Muebles. Furniture. 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 Mm -hmm. uh, thank furniture. you. Okay. Any other questions? It's furniture. Okay. Okay. Now we're going to practice using there is and there are. We are going to go to 2.9. In 2.9 with the partner, you are going to make the sentence in a different form. For example, here we have the sentence. I don't have a table in the bedroom. We want to the, make the sentence in another form. There is no table in the bedroom. O sea que la misma oración, la mamá, o el mismo sentido, lo vamos a hacer en otra forma. The same sentence in a different form, okay? So... Con el compañero, we're going to do number one, two, three, four, and five. Like the example, I don't have a table in the bedroom is one form. Ah, there is no table in the bedroom is another form. Please die. Uh, mi esposa, la que está muriendo, ella la que está ah, así de, de loca. Uh -huh. Sorry. No, no, it's okay. Yeah, yo ya sé, es escandalosa para eso. Ah. Don't worry. <laughs> I have a neighbor. You have Next, a neighbor too. In front of in front of my house. And, oh, and it's they awesome. not, it's 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 sort of that is snow snoring. Sneeze. It's sneeze. See, si, sneeze. Uh -huh. Really sound. It's really loud. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, really yo sé que lo hace bien fuerte. Sorry. Uh, don't worry, it's okay. <laughs> Por eso es que Sochi hoy no está hablando, porque para que no pase. <laughs> Okay, so with the partners, we're going to do 2.9, 2.9, okay, let's try, let's see, okay, okay, I really don't, one moment, okay, go. Delia, what happened? Ronnie, what happened? No se pueden conectar.
Okay, let's try and see if we have the answers. Okay. Number one, I have some chairs in the kitchen. There are some chairs in the kitchen. There are, okay, good. Number two, I have a stove in the kitchen. Number one, there is. There is a stove in the kitchen. Okay, good. Three, I don't have a refrigerator. Number four, there is no. There is no, okay, there is no refrigerator. Okay, number five, sorry, number four, I don't have curtains on the windows. Number two, there are not. Number two, there are no curtains on the windows, okay. And number five, I don't have any rugs on the floor. Number two. Number two, there are no rugs on the floor. Okay. Excellent. All of the answers are correct. You can see. Very nice. All of the answers. Good job. Now we're going to learn a little bit more about a little bit about reading. We're going to practice a little bit of reading. Okay. Here we have two readings. The readings. Let me check, I, I put in the WhatsApp group, okay? So the, you can see if it's small, you can check in the WhatsApp group for the readings. Logans. Hi. One moment, let me make big, okay. Everyone, in this class, you'll develop skills in scanning and reading for details. Reading. Two special houses in the American Southwest. In San Antonio, Texas, there is a purple house. This house is the home of Sandra Cisneros. Ms. Cisneros is a Mexican-American writer. She is famous for her interesting stories. The house has a porch with a pink floor. The rooms are green, pink, and purple. There are many books and colorful paintings. Many other houses near Ms. Cisneros's house are white or beige, so her house is very different. Some of her neighbors think her house is too colorful, but Ms. Cisneros loves it. Okay, antes de continuar a la siguiente lectura, en la primera, ¿hay alguna palabra que no conocen? No saben el significado o cómo se pronuncia. Any questions for vocabulary, pronunciation, or meaning? What is the meaning of porch? Porch. The, this this is the porch in the picture. Yeah, but but, but in Spanish. Mm, Spanish, I don't think we have a porch. It's similar like a patio, but no no exactly. Mm -hmm. mm, pero no es un residor. O... Mm, En el campo le dicen el corredor. Okay. Uh -huh. Si vas al campo, muchas casas del campo tienen esta parte donde dice, ah, ahí en el corredor lo reciben. O ahí en el corredor ah. está. Uh -huh. Nice, thanks. You're welcome. Any other questions for the Cisneros? Okay, let's continue to, uh, yes, yes, yes. Na neighbors. Neighbors, very good, neighbors. Alguien sabe que, que significa neighbors? Vecinos. Excellent, excellent, vecinos, neighbors. Porch in the dictionary say that it's a cover entren entrance of a building. This, this is the como, porch. Como, como un techito. Uh -huh. Esta área donde está uh -huh. ahí. Pero, pero, pero tiene techo cubierto. Tiene que tener techo, sí. Tiene que tener el techo. Ah, por eso le dicen el, el corredor o, o la parte porque tiene que tener un techo. Normalmente en las películas ve que alguien está ahí tomándose un vino, un whisky y ah, en una, una mesadora. 
Una mecedora o hay una hamaca también. Ajá. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Ahí es el porch. Ok, thanks. You're welcome. Every year, many people visit Arizona to learn about Native American tribes. Most people stay in hotels, but some people stay in traditional Native American homes called Hogan's. Lorraine Nelson, a teacher from Arizona, invites visitors to stay in her Hogan. It has three chairs, two beds on the floor, and a wood-burning stove. Ms. Nelson teaches her guests about Native American traditions. Okay, let's check one more time. Stove. Ms. Nelson teaches... Okay. So, look here. Okay. Let's take a look. Alguna palabra? Pronunciación, significado? What does meaning good burning? Now, good burning is con leña, quemado con madera. En este caso, para nosotros, leña. Wood burning stove, o sea, una estufa con leña donde hacen normalmente las quesadillas o en las películas o a veces aquí las pizzas tradicionales, artesanales wood burning stove it's like, like a glue but made with the earth, right? that's right, uh -huh. made with earth exactly, like an igloo made with the same material uh, adobe, like adobe material Teacher, nice. what's the meaning of stay in Spanish? Quedarse. Quedarse. Mm -hmm. Only this? It's okay, the others? Hogan's que, what does mean? The, the Hogan's. Es uh -huh, the the Hogan. Hogan's. Yes. Es lo que estamos viendo. Es este tipo de casa. Se llama Hogan's. Son las casas tradicionales de los nativos, de los americanos, de los indios. Uh -huh. These are called Hogan's. Okay, now with our, partners, with our partners, we're going to practice two times. One time you read in San Antonio, the partner every year. Then you, your partner read in San Antonio and you read every year. So you practice the two, covers, the two readings. Okay? Okay, good. Let's practice with our partners. One moment. Who's missing? And we have, let me, what? One moment. Okay. Delia, you okay?
Okay, any questions? No? No, all good. All good. Okay. What the pronunciation tribes? Tribes. Tribes. Okay, tribes. Okay. Let's listen again. Vamos a escuchar nuevamente para estar seguro que tenemos la pronunciación correcta. Okay. Ahí vamos con. Let's listen one more time. Teaches her guests about Native American. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll develop skills in scanning and reading for details. Reading. Two special houses in the American Southwest. In San Antonio, Texas, there is a purple house. This house is the home of Sandra Cisneros. Ms. Cisneros is a Mexican-American writer. She is famous for her interesting stories. The house has a porch with a pink floor. The rooms are green, pink, and purple. There are many books and colorful paintings. Many other houses near Ms. Cisneros' house are white or beige, so her house is very different. Some of her neighbors think her house is too colorful, but Ms. Cisneros loves it. Okay. Si se fijan, aquí el nombre de ella es Sandra Cisneros. Pero como es, mejor, como es mujer, le dicen la señora. Entonces, Miss. Miss Cisneros. Si fuera hombre, sería Mr. Cisneros. Pero como es mujer, es Miss. Ok. Miss Cisneros. Uh -huh. All right. ¿Alguna otra palabra algo de aquí? Por ejemplo, colorful o porch. Neighbors, neighbors. Okay. Every year, many people visit Arizona to learn about Native American tribes. Most people stay in hotels, but some people stay in traditional Native American homes called Hogan's. Lorraine Nelson, a teacher from Arizona, invites visitors to stay in her Hogan. It has three chairs, two beds on the floor, and a wood-burning stove. Ms. Nelson teaches her guests about Native American traditions. Okay. Now, what are we going to do? Now that we read and we understand, now we're going to answer the questions. For Sandra Cisneros house, what there is, and then for Lorraine Nelson's house, okay, what there is. So with your partner, here are the vocabularies, here. So you read and you put the correct word or words to complete the sentence, okay. Van a leer y completar con las palabras que aparecen aquí. Estas son las opciones que tienen para completar las oraciones. It's okay? It's okay. Okay, good. Remember, this is Delia, Victor, Mayra. Okay. 
Delia, te cuesta conectar, ¿verdad? Sí, pero no vi la, la carta, no me cayó. ¿No te cayó? No. Ok. Te mando otro, no hay problema. Ok. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, let's check. Let's see if you have the correct answers. Okay. Number one, there is a... Porch with a pink floor. Okay. Mm -hmm. Porch with a pink floor. Mm -hmm. Number two, there are... Colorful painting. Okay, colorful paintings. Number three, there are many books. 
Okay, many books. Number four, for Lorraine Nelson's house, there is? Wood, wood burning stove. Okay, a wood burning stove. Number two, there are? Three chairs. Okay, three chairs. And the last one, there are? Two beds, beds in the, in the, in the floor. floor. Let's take a look. Excellent. You see, all of the answers are correct. Okay. Very good. Very good understanding. Okay. Now we're going to practice our speaking. And the speaking, we're going to describe our house. Okay. Le voy a poner en el chat como lo vamos a hacer. Aquí aparece, por ejemplo. Okay. Give me a second. Um, okay. Entonces voy a poner. Describe your bedroom. Describe your living room. Describe your... Uh, dining room, describe your kitchen, okay? Ayer vimos que hay diferentes formas para poder hacer esto y hoy vimos otras formas. Vamos a tratar de usar las diferentes, okay? Así, en, por ejemplo, uh, describe your bedroom. Ah, okay. In my bedroom, okay. Okay. For example, in my bedroom, there is a TV or I have a TV in my bedroom, okay? Pero hoy vimos nuevas formas de cómo describirlo, ¿verdad? Hoy vimos que podemos también usar, ah, there is a TV in my bedroom, okay? O en el caso que no hay, okay, there isn't a TV in my bedroom. Okay. Y no se olviden que para plurales van a poner there are. There are, okay. For example, maybe there are mirrors. In my bedroom. Okay. So, we have many ways to ask. Entonces, si yo le pregunto a mi compañero, compañera, le digo, ah, describe your living room, describe your bedroom, describe lo, el cuarto que sea. Pueden contestar de variedad de formas. In my bedroom, there is. In my living room, there is. O pueden decir, I have. I have a microwave. I have a stove. I have a refrigerator. I have, okay, in my kitchen. O there is. There is a microwave, there is a stove, there is a different form, okay? You ready? Yeah, Start. ready. Yes, alguien no les quedó claro cómo podemos preguntar o cómo podemos contestar? Okay, vamos a hacer un ejemplo. Victor, le puedes preguntar a Mayra, por favor? Mayra va a contestar. Mayra, describe your living room. Excuse me. Describe your living room. Uh, in my living room, there is in a stereo. There is in a stereo. Okay, thanks. Ask somebody else. Uh, there are... Uh, mm -hmm. To share armchair, there are uh, there is a sofa. <laughs> sofa. Sofa. Uh, there is a TV. Okay. okay. Thanks. Thank you, Mike. Thank you. And exactly like the example, one ask, one answer. Then 
the partner ask on the other partner. It's okay. Yes. Yes. Oh, okay. Hi. Hi. trabado. Okay. Okay. Silvia, ¿estás aquí, Silvia? Mayra, no, no se unen al grupo. Aquí mismo lo pueden hacer. Ah, ok. Silvia, can you tell me, can you describe the bedroom? Your bedroom, bedroom. Ya se unió Silvia. <risa> ah, me quedé yo. <risa> ok, ok. Te voy a mandar a, a otro grupo, ok, Mayra? Ok. Ok. Let's see.
Jose, any questions? No. No, okay, good, all right. Mayra, any questions? No. No, okay, Victor, any questions? No, okay, no. Delia? No. No, Rene? No, any question? Okay, one? No question. No question, and Silvia? No question. No question. Okay. En ese caso, ya hemos terminado la lección 2. Significa yeah. que ya estamos terminando la 1 y la 2. Mañana vamos a poder repasar un poquito y empezar iniciando la unidad 3. Significa okay. que deberían de estar terminados en la plataforma la 1 y la 2. Yes. Si tienen alguna duda, alguna pregunta, no hay problema. Siempre pueden no. preguntar para estar seguro que se están manteniendo al día, que no se estén atrasando, ¿ok? Ok. Ok. Thank you so much. Have a great night. Good night. Good night. Bye-bye. Good, Good night, everyone. Bye-bye. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.